What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Let's have a real talk here. If your budget's a hot mess right now, trust me, you are not alone. In today's video, I'm gonna be fixing that with actual budget. The super fast, no fluff budgeting app that actually puts you in charge. No ads, no shady data stuff, just clean local first budgeting that works. I'll show you how it all comes together and why it's way different from the apps that just want to babysit your money. So let's jump right in. First of all, if you go to their website, that's actualbudget.org, you'll land on their homepage here. And what sets actual budget apart from other budgeting or financing software or programs is that first, it's free if you decide to set it up locally. Of course, you do have the option to set up a server and sync your data with other devices, but we'll talk about that later in this video. And second, it's really about privacy. Your data stays on your computer without having other companies peek at it. Now, here is the main homepage where you can see some snippets and some information about this program. And here you can go ahead and download it. If I go and download it, you can see here it's available on all the major desktop OSs. And you can see here that the download or the software is split into two parts. The desktop client, which is available for the major operating systems, is like the app itself. If you want to host it locally, you just need the desktop client. However, if you want to sync between multiple devices, you need to download and set up a server. The client is free if you want to use it locally on your computer. However, for the server, some of these services to set up the server are paid. They do require a small monthly fee. Others are free, but they require more technical expertise with coding and setting up the server. However, I'm just going to download the desktop client for now. So I chose my operating system. I downloaded the software and here it is. Once you download and install it, depending on the actual operating system of your computer, here is the application. And here they tell me that there are no servers configured and if I want to configure a server, however, I don't want to use a server, I just want to use it locally on the computer. Now, you can import your budget if you have already used other software that do uh, support exporting budget and you can start fresh. However, for this video, I'm gonna view a demo. A demo will have lots of pre-setup or dummy transactions and data that are going to be useful to show you the actual processing and actual features of the program. So I'm going to click on view demo and they are making a demo. And as you can see, a demo comes with pre-prepared uh, like data here, budgets and uh, stuff like that. And this is the main dashboard. So you have budget you have reports and schedule. I'm gonna go through them in a minute. But here is the monthly layout of actual budget. As you can see in April, which is this month right now, you have your available funds, your overspent from March, your budgeted funds, and your funds for next month. So let's go to May, the next month here to see. You have the available funds and the sum that is overspent in April and you have the remaining amount right here to budget. Now you can see that your expenses are set up into categories. So the usual expenses or the like recurring expenses, the bills, and you can add group right here. And also you have your income. So I'm gonna, let's say, I'm gonna spend $100 on food. So 100, as you can see, it is deducted from here and it is added into the like highlight of May. So we have $100 budgeted for food in this category. And if I go ahead and click on this drop down menu, I can copy the last month's budget for this specific category or the food. And you can rename, hide or delete this category or this expense, the food category or the food item. Now you can see here the balance for each item. So for the usual expenses, the total balance is relayed right here. And if I add an expense for restaurants, let's say I pay $200 at a restaurant, you can see that the balance for this category increases as well as the budgeted amount and the total remaining for me to budget. Now I can add to like medical savings. I can add to my bills. So let's say I paid like $50 for internet. As you can see, it all adds up. 
now let's take a look at the reports now you have some widgets here for reports that give you some insights about your spendings and you can view how you are doing each month so january february up till this month april the assets debt net worth and change you can see the cash flow the income and expenses the total income and expenses and if i click on the widget i can expand it and view the details in more an expanded view and view more insights about this specific widget now i can go ahead to the reports once again i can add a new widget so i have cash flow graph net worth graph spending analysis text widget summary card calendar card and new custom report so going back to the schedule right now you can see here all the scheduled payments so the internet bill you can see the pay is fast internet or the company the account from which i will withdraw this amount is bank of america next date and the status which is missed for this specific transaction the amount and if it's a recurring payment and the same for the other bills like the phone bill the utilities and the wedding payment now you can see here the status for any of these payments and if i go ahead and click on any of them i can edit the name the payee the account so if i click on account i can see all the accounts that are available for me or that are added and here the amount is 140 dollars now if i click on this minus icon i can turn it into an income so the schedules are not only the payments but they can be incomes as well now here is the day the due date and i can set it to be a recurring payment so it repeats on these like dates do 28th of each month so let's save this for now and now it is a recurring payment as you can see now let's add a new schedule and let's make it into an income this time and let's say this is from my side hustle and my side hustle whatever that is will pay me $200 each month and let's change the date so it repeats for example at the 10th of each month so it'll be repeated at the 10th of each upcoming month okay apply and now the amount is $200 the account let's say it is added to the ally savings account the payee I can here see my payees and I can add another pay or just leave it as none if I want to. And now add. And now the amount is added in green plus this time, meaning it is not an expense. It is actually an income, a recurring income. Now let's see more options right here. I can see here my pays. And here are the list of my pays. And I can see here the rules assigned to some of them. And I can create even a rule for any payee that I want now here i can view all my rules so the rules are like automated like transactions that i can set like for example for this specific rule for the date is every month on the 25th add this specific amount to this schedule so this is like a rule or think of it like an automation at some sort now i can view here my settings the theme the formatting the language and everything and here are all my accounts now for a free local first or local hosted and the option to be hosted on a server for a small monthly fee and also i forgot to mention that you have the ability to connect your banks at least that will work in the us and the uk i think it does a pretty good job yes sure the interface could be a little modern but for what it is i cannot really complain so i do encourage you to go ahead and download it and test it for yourself.